Today's film is the Lucio Fulci produced The Red Monks, originally known as Il Fatti Rossi, released in 1988. The film stars Gerardo Amato and Lara Wendell. The music is by Paolo Russicicelli. It was written by Pino Buricci, Gianni Machucci, and Luciana Anna Spacca, and was directed by Matucci. Sorry. A young woman weds a seemingly charming young man and moves into his ancient mansion. As heads begin to roll, she uncovers her husband's past and his connection to some cult called the Red Monks. The Red Monks is from Lucio Fulci's dull TV movie Twilight period of his career as both producer and director, with Cat in the Brain being the only real highlight. As is common in this year's marathon, together with poor pacing, we have an ancient death cult getting revived in the supernatural sense and it's pretty much the most boring thing you could imagine. The gore is weak and the pacing is awful. It's always a bad time with these Italian TV movies and Red Monks, predictably, doesn't have the actors or the screenplay to make a compelling drama. Decent cinematography and art direction is really the saving grace of this otherwise inconsequential footnote in Fulci's career. The Red Monks themselves make for a striking visual and are photographed with the appropriate amount of distortion. Seasoned DOP Sergio Rubini creates some good atmosphere in the interiors with warm candle-lit oranges and the exteriors are also very lush and easy on the eyes. It's a professional looking production with only an insipid story dragging it down to the depths of obscurity. The music, although, is also forgettable. In conclusion, there is not much to say about the Red Monks. The story is old hat, the presentation is bland, and there are little to no exploitation elements present. Silvio Berlusconi might have enjoyed such fluff being on his countrywide network of local TV stations back in the day, stuffed to the gills with commercial breaks, but Red Monks is a crushing bore when given the attention it probably never asked for. Skip this one without any degree of guilt. It's only of note due to the Fulci connection and even then it was during the nadir of his life. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. Tomorrow's film is Spider Labyrinth.